Hello everyone, my name is Kitetsu and welcome back to my channel. Right, it's getting late so I'm going to make this quite a quick and to the point video. I didn't realise that this article had dropped, I'm a little bit annoyed because uh, I've been so busy making my soulbound RPG character that when I saw this article earlier I just thought they weren't going to bother doing anything else of note and instead of doing a video on this I thought I would uh, focus on making my character instead and then I saw this literally just now and it's almost 9 o'clock. <laughs> So yeah, I'll make this to the point. You guys know by now I'm really excited about the old world. I can't get enough of uh, any information relating to it. Any kinds of rumours, any updates, I'm all over it. I'm so excited for this. If you've been returning to my channel for a while now, you'll know that I think this is absolutely fantastic for Warhammer Fantasy and I think this is fantastic for Age of Sigmar. They are two totally different beasts. They need to exist alongside each other. Neither of them needs to be ditched <laughs> for those people who are suggesting anything along those lines but yeah anyway we saw the ice guard of kislev a few weeks ago i made a video about them i'm glad i did now because it's got me up to speed with what's going on here's our map of kislev we've already seen this map before go check out my other video if you're interested in looking at a little bit more detail on the map but yeah, what is exciting is they are bringing bear models back. So it says many heroes of Kislev tame great bears and ride them into war. Forming a bond is not easy. And uh, yeah, they get a lifelong bond with them. And it says when Tsar Boris Johnson died, his loyal bear guarded his corpse for a day and a night before disappearing into the snow. And uh, here is the model that uh, I don't actually know how old this is. But it's actually a pretty cool model. Um, yeah, I was actually looking up a bit of his uh, backstory. And uh, I would say that they've picked the most boring part of his story. How about the way he tamed the bear in the first place? He was basically responsible for bringing back this kind of bear cult thing to Kislev. The uh, cult of Urson. I just had to go and look that up. But he decided to disappear into the forest to go and tame a bear. No one saw him for 18 days and they thought... Right, he's died. This land of Kislev is so hostile that anyone who's been missing for that amount of time is guaranteed to be dead. They started preparing, I think it was his daughter, for coronation to take over as the new Tsar or Tsaress. I don't know the phrase. And yeah, basically at the exact point they'd given up, they managed to find his body. Uh, well, some of the search parties did. And he was unconscious with this enormous bear guarding over him and there's just blood absolutely everywhere and uh, the corpses of over two dozen wolves and they were trying to get to him to uh, obviously help save his life and the bear wouldn't let anyone approach but after about another day of lying there unconscious he finally wakes up and uh, yeah, the bear, realising that those are his people, allow them to approach. But yeah, what a uh, fantastic backstory to a character. I'm definitely, after this video, going to have to go away and read up more about him. But here we go. Here is the big reveal. If you haven't seen it by now, here is our first look at the concept art for the new bears. I mean, wow, like this is a whole new level of crazy. And it's just a testament to how unique the old world was. Obviously, it was firmly rooted in Tolkien style fantasy, but then it still had its own unique flavour to it as well. So it says they're a long way from being models yet, but we've secured some stunning concept sketches of what you'll be able to expect. Of all the images they've shown so far, I actually prefer these two down below, which are the uh, black and white versions. Like, just look at how incredible that looks. Especially the shield. That really has a strong Kislev vibe to it. The tusks that they've attached to uh, either side of his mask or helmet. Let's take a look at this one. This one I can see people maybe uh, having a little bit more issue with due to the kind of uh, glowing crystal thing suggesting that there's a little bit more magic going on than they would prefer and those eye designs I think I saw this uh, very similar sort of mask with the slaves to darkness when I was looking at their models the other day it's very Skaven-esque looking in a way but yeah I mean these look absolutely astonishing this is my favorite picture by far I think it looks incredibly cool they should have maybe colored that one instead of this one but yeah nice little look at the uh, proportion of the people sitting on top we've also got a look at the breastplate that's down there 
Another look there at the weaponry, which again looks incredibly Kislev. Some antlers on the front. Now, I don't believe that the bears in the original faction were armoured. So, again, they're obviously doing a slightly different twist on what we're expecting. But let me know what you guys think about the armour. Personally, I think it A, makes the models look 10 times more intimidating. B, it seems far more practical if you're going to be riding an animal into battle give it some protection and yeah I just think it's going to allow for these absolutely astonishingly detailed and incredible looking models. It's very uh, similar to the Dark Materials Armoured Bears if you guys have seen or read that series but yeah everything I see from the old world is just getting me more and more hyped for it I can't wait. This is only the beginning well obviously we haven't really seen anything yet even though this game is quite a ways off there's loads of cool stuff to see over the coming months and yeah that's pretty much all they're telling us again for now but wow i'm super excited let me know what you guys think down below and yeah i can't wait to be updating you guys on this project as it develops and yeah i will be continuing with my model range reviews and i really want to make a video on the soulbound rpg 2 but obviously that requires quite a lot of reading and prep work so that i know what the hell i'm talking about before i make a video on it but anyway guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will see you guys really soon.